Hi, Ken here. If you want to experience an urban wilderness, visit Jones State Forest in Conroe, Texas. This video is one in a series about the forest. Today's video is on the natural history of the endangered red cockaded woodpecker. The video uses a peeper scope to see inside a nest cavity. You'll see eggs, you'll see newborn young, you'll see older young. The video also shows how nestlings are banded so that they may be tracked and followed throughout their life. Let me introduce you to the site real quick. What we're looking at here is premier red cockaded woodpecker to habitat. It's, um, as you can see, there's a lot of grasses and forbs in the area. You see trees that are not touching, it's not very dense. And the one thing that you might notice that is critical for red cockaded habitat is the fact that there is no mid-story. There are no trees on the ground all the way up to the top where the cavity is. And this is critical for the bird to survive. What they do as far as a defense mechanism for from bird, other birds, from raccoons, snakes, native snakes in Texas, is that they will do something like, it looks like melted candle wax on the tree. And what they do is they run around the tree and peck these resin wells open and the sap runs along the trunk of the tree. And so when the snake is crawling up or another animal's crawling up the tree, what happens is it gets sticky on the belly scales of the snake or the paws of the raccoon. And then it just turns them down and they go back down the tree and they won't get up to the cavity and eat the babies. Or, eat the eggs. So the way we maintain this area is through prescribed fire. Every other year or so what we'll do is set a fire to this area. It's under controlled um, parameters and we'll set this area on fire and of course it does look burned but then again this is last year this was burned and now you can see that we have a huge amount of berries, grasses and forbs that are also important for the red cockaded woodpecker but also a diverse animal and um, other bird species and deer population also enjoy this grazing area. The nesting season is from mid-March to late July on the Jones State Forest. Living in small family groups, red cockaded woodpeckers are a social species. The family group may include the male, female, their chicks, and young adult helpers. Uh, these, these birds help build the nest cavities and care for future chicks. Yay, four eggs were laid, and two chicks look like they hatched this morning. We came back seven days later to see how the birds were doing. Birds are usually banded when they're about one week old. Donna gently pulled out two chicks from the nest and they were lowered to the ground. Survivor, because he's okay. I gotta pinch that little. Yeah, come on, guy. Oops. Oh, hold on, hold on. Sure all toes are out of the way. Pull this back. Make sure it's not got pink skin. Pinch it together. Yeah. Noisy. Yeah. Okay, let's remember this guy's in here. <laughs> okay, let me. I'm doing Slowly. dark pink over silver, so I need I need that pink one to stay up a little bit. Come on. Use the toes. One little toes to get. Yeah. Come on, guy. Oops. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Use the 
the toes. One little toe sticky. Yeah. Come on, guy. Oops. Oh. Use the tools. One little toast to Yeah. Come on, guy. Oops. Oh. Okay, they're going back up into the tree now. Okay. The birds are on an elevator ride in their lovely velvet elevator. One thing I want to hit on before we close today is the fact that we do have volunteer groups, the Texas Master Naturalists, the Master Gardeners, we have Friends of Texas Forest Service, also Friends of the Forest, Amigos del Bosque. We have all these different volunteer groups and they're all welcome to the forest anytime. We have pollinator gardens that they can work in, help teach kids about pollinators. But one of the more important things that we have going on is the research of the red cockaded woodpecker. Our biologist, Donna Work, in the springtime while they're mating, will climb the trees and she can use volunteers. Even though she's the only one permitted by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife to touch the birds, she does need extra hands as she lowers the birds or babies to the ground. She needs extra hands as she measures and someone writes the data and collects it. She also needs someone to help ho hold the bird as she puts the bands around them, as you saw earlier in the video footage. So if you're interested in volunteering on the Jones State Forest, give us a call at 936-273-2261 or you can email us at jonesstateforest at tfs.tamu.edu and we'll be glad to take you on as a volunteer or at any capacity.